Question number three, part E for ECHO, long answer questions. It says GBA provides financial services and advice to clients. The company is relocating to a smaller office. Following the move, GBA will offer some employees the option uh, to work from home. Discuss how technology enables employees to work efficiently from home. You should consider factors affecting access to systems and data communication. And finally, data security. Again, another nice one because they kind of tell you what they want you to talk about, which is very good. And it says discuss how. Discuss him. When you have a discussion, this, again, these questions or these words that we use are very, very simple words. A discussion. Think about how a discussion normally works. I... I love Dragon Ball Z. When I'm having a discussion about Dragon Ball Z, my friends might say, oh, I don't like this about it. And I might be like, I like this about it. So it's a back and forth, a constant back and forth about the good and about the bad as well. So a discussion is, again, like implications, it's going to be good and bad. You're going to give your points for and your points against. All right. So first, we're going to speak about access to systems and data. So we're going to speak about networking first. Users can access company networks using VPNs and remote desktop applications, right? Give financial advisors access to all of the files they need, would have, would have if working in the office, also um, ensures data security. Okay, this, uh, maybe I read it wrong. It's a bit wordy. Fine, I might have made a few mistakes. But essentially, because we have VPNs, so virtual private networks, which allow us to have a tunnel over the internet, a secure encrypted tunnel over the internet, though it might be slower, it's going to be very, very secure. Uh, we're going to have remote desktop applications as well, which means that I can actually control my computer at work from my computer at home, as in control it fully, mouse, keyboard, everything. That's what the remote desktop application does. It allows you to take control of another device um, from your device. And the one I typically use is called Team Viewer. So Team as in a football team and Viewer as in I'm going to view something on TV, I guess. There's a really good application, completely free. Um, next, we have if the company uses cloud storage, we'll also give access to the files and ensure synchronization of files that so that everyone in the organization is working on the same files. Users will not need to worry about backing up files. Very true again. I work with a team of teachers and when we are editing documents, we edit every single thing on OneDrive. So when I need the most up-to-date version of a document, I don't need to go and check my email and ask someone to email it to me and then say, is this the most recent version? I can simply go onto OneDrive check when it was last edited and say oh yeah this seems like the most recent one because it was updated one minute ago five minutes ago right very very nice system very simple very easy cloud computing can be used so that everyone is working on the same software versions reducing compatibility issues home workers don't have to worry about buying installing up-to-date software on pcs or laptops very very true again now i'm going to go back to uh, onedrive or google drive both those services are technically cloud stored services, but they also offer cloud computing services as well. When you open a Word document on OneDrive and you're able to type and edit and insert images and do Excel files and PowerPoints, that's technically cloud computing. And then it also uses the cloud storage in the background to save the file once you're finished, right? So that's very good because imagine, okay, think about it like this. I have a Windows laptop. I know people that have a macOS laptop, so they obviously have Mac, macOS installed on the laptop. I know people that only use Linux, and we all have web browsers. We all can access the internet in exactly the same way. So using cloud computing for us might make a lot more sense because I don't have to go and buy Office, and my friend doesn't have to go and buy Office on his or her Mac, and then the person on the other operating system can just... We, we, we could just all use the same web browser, or even different web browsers. It doesn't matter. Once we have a compatible web browser to use the service we're trying to use, that's it. So we could all access OneDrive, and when we access it, we, we can all edit the same Word document in exactly the same way and share it just as easily because cloud computing makes it so, so simple. Uh, may be able to take advantage of remote desktop technologies, which will provide a similar experience to working in the office. Yes, very true, but we already spoke about that. So remote desktop applications, again, allow you to control one PC or one device from another device across the internet or over a network. So I can use my PC at home to control my PC at work and more or less get the same things done. A range of online communities, VOIP, so voice over IP, video conferencing can be used, set up to ensure that the financial advisors don't feel isolated and they maintain communication. So we can still speak to people if we need to. So typically, you guys probably know a lot about Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom where we can make video calls and we can have 20, 30, 40, 50 plus people in a single call 
just like you were in an office and someone can raise their hand and ask a question, say what they want to say, and just go back on mute or just leave everything open, right? That's typically how companies will do it as well if they want you to work in that way. Data transmission, broadband, cellular, widespread with increasingly good, reliable, stable connection. So, yep, we don't really have to worry too much about internet connectivity here in the UK, especially in big cities like London, Birmingham, Manchester. I mean, my internet costs 24 pounds, 25 pounds a month, and I get 100 megabits per second download and I think like 10 or 15 upload, right? Which is pretty decent, decent price. That's cheaper than most people's phone contracts. And again, Unlike in places in America, Canada, we here in the UK, we have unlimited, right? So I typically use about three to 600 gigabytes per month from my broadband. That's quite a bit. Financial advisors will be able to communicate with their clients over secure cellular networks. Yeah, so if I need, so if they need to call someone, they can simply pick, pick up the phone and call them. Um, if it needs to be a super secure connection where no one can ever record anything, then it could be one of those super secure apps like Telegram or WhatsApp where the call is encrypted. Uh, next, we have data security. Security is a major issue as financial advisors will be dealing with highly sensitive client data. Security is enhanced by using secure internet connection so we could use a vpn we could use encryption we could use um, antivirus we could use firewalls just to ensure that we're super super secure uh, here okay here we go encryption can be used to secure data during transmission so remember encryption is jumbling the data so that when it is sent across the network or sent across whatever if someone were to intercept it they wouldn't know what it um it has in there that's what encryption would do uh, threats to data stored on systems can be reduced by using sophisticated antivirus firewalls and encryption as well so we encrypt the data to send it, but we also encrypt the data to keep it on our systems. We use firewalls to ensure that people cannot get to what they should not get to. We use anti, I'm going to put just anti-malware and firewall together. So we're going to use anti-malware software. So even if they manage to get some piece of malicious code or software onto our systems, that anti-malware software will detect it and try and get rid of it. Access level to protect sensitive data. So access level typically means in a company or a school or even your house, right? Your parents have more access to things than you typically do. In a school, the person at the very, very, very top, so let's say the principal, then we have the vice principal, then we have the managers of each department. So we have the um, manager of the science department, manager of the IT department, manager of the maths department. And below that, we have the teachers. Below them, we might have um, uh, the people who help out in classrooms. I don't remember. I don't remember their names right now. And below that, we might have the students and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's what access level is. And I, as a normal teacher, will not be able to access all the information of every single person compared to the principal of that school who has access to every single thing, compared to the IT administrator who has access to every single thing. 